are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. If he turns on the Relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. 
What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Conduit's not a weapon. It's a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll stop, Saren. Just tell me how. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry.
races looked up to the Protheans as paragons of civilization. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Show you all the way.